One of your final matches against one of your greatest rivals. I mean, how special is it to have Novak there and your whole family watching? Yeah, good. No, I mean, uh, having a, another uh, battle, of course, in a different in a different way than most of the battles that we had in the in the professional tour. But have been good fun, no? especially in that second set. First set, I I, I didn't play enough well. I I mean, I didn't play many sets uh, since uh, since the Olympics. So it take me some time to be on rhythm. But then the second set was some good points, good fun, and uh, yeah, always facing Novak is, uh, is uh, I mean, it's an emotional thing because we had uh, an amazing and super long story behind. I know you were locked in the moment, but did you hear the audience and the fans screaming your name throughout the entire match? Yeah, of course. I, I, I feel very, very well supported and have been uh, uh, a great week uh, having... Uh, the opportunity to play in front of uh, a different crowd, uh, a crowd that we never played before in front, and uh, we realize that they like tennis, they, they, they are passionate, and they, 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 they are very good fans. No? They respect our sport uh, a lot. So, uh, yeah, we enjoy it. I think uh, we played with, uh, with the right energy, and we, we, we come back home with a good memory. Throughout the years, you've entertained millions of fans all over the globe, what is your message to all of them watching, especially to the fans here, like you said, in Riyadh, who finally got a chance to see you play? Well, I had, uh, I have been very lucky now because I have, uh, I have the feeling that I, I had uh, huge support in every tournament that I played, you know, almost during all my career. So uh, that's, uh, that's a feeling difficult to, to describe, but uh, the energy and the personal satisfaction that, uh, that you have when you, when you feel the support of the of the people all around, it's it's something very very special, no? And I feel very lucky for that, so I can't thank an awful of them. Next up, you have the Davis Cup, but after that, what is life like for Nadal after you're done with the tennis? Well, good thing is I I don't need to decide what kind of life I I want to I want to take, no? So as as I say, uh, I need time to decide what I want to be. After after that, no, uh, it's a big change. It's going to be a big change in my life. Uh, I, it's not like uh, only the last 20 years of being professional. No, it's since I was a kid, uh, living like a professional athlete. No, so uh, that's going to finish after Davis Cup. Let's enjoy this last month of being professional, and I'm going to try to prepare the best way possible to be competitive in the Davis Cup. No, but after that, I mean, I don't need the day after to, to know yeah. <laughs> what, what, uh, what I want in my personal life. No? I, I, I hope, I am lucky that I'm going to have some time off to, to, to understand uh, what, what I want to be and, uh, and that give me uh, relax at the same time. When you, when you have a big change in your life, you need, you need time to, to, you know, to, to be well adapted. Last question, a personal one for me. Do you hear your son on the sidelines screaming, Papa, when you no, play? No. Okay, because no, he was, <laughs> and it was very okay. cute. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, but... Uh, it was very cute. But yeah, I mean, he behaved very well, so uh, that's, that's, that's good. Uh, we are lucky. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you.